Good morning and welcome back to part nine of this uh, Triumarang build. Uh, my name is Pascal and uh, in this video I am going to uh, I'm going to fair the joints. That means I'm going to fill in any parts of it. I'm going to also cut the skeg. I'm going to fit the skeg. I'm going to glass in the skeg. So I'm going to have everything nearly ready for uh, for hopefully the next episode after this one we will put it in the water so uh, I'll just leave you with the video here and if you like it please uh, subscribe okay now I'm after making up the, the two keel strips here I rounded them off we also done a dry fit on them and we marked which one was starboard and aft on them and I'm going to glue them in they said put hot glue I don't think it, that's going to be easy to do so I've mixed up I've put a screw on this side which we will put in temporary and then we will take it out when the when the epoxy is set when we've that done we're going to do the skeg I didn't put my gloves on me star aft okay starboard is the top one starboard aft that's starboard back so Rex is going to put it in there you see you'll see him on the other camera there he's got his line and while Rex is holding that there I'm going to screw the screw into the hole that we already we drilled the holes in the wood already because no need to push Rex no need to push should go into the hole is it going in okay I'm going to push that in there most of the way. That tight? Because we dry fitted it already, then it's no problem to do it now. And it, it finds its own hole for him there. Because there's a big bend in it. Off to the back. You there? There? So because the, we drilled the one, we drilled a, a one eight inch uh, bit into the hole into the the strip itself, so that it's uh, just goes in nice and nice and tight. But we're not going to crack the wood or anything like that. Are you in? Mm. Huh? Mm. And then we go down here. In. So uh, now I have it back up on, we've turned it back up and I'm going to run my finger along it I think. Well not my finger. I have, uh, it needs a little bit extra in there because I couldn't put the screw in the very end here because we've already got the kick, kick strap there for, for, for uh, rowing. So on the very end we'll have to push it in a little bit and then I'll use the scraper on it then after that, like that and make sure we get a little bit more in there in the back so uh, you see the where we done it yesterday it's a bit rough but it's and it's very sharp uh, that's why the tape is a lot better these edges they will sand off the, where them little pieces are we will actually that's what we're going to do after we do the skeg we're going to uh, we're going to fare just the edge of this. We're not going to sand the, uh, the, the fiberglass around here. So uh, I'll get back to you in, when we're ready to do the skeg now in a few minutes. Okay, now I'm going to cut what's called a skeg on the back of the boat that I explained to you there earlier. I'm going to cut it from three quarter inch ply. Uh, it's marine ply. It's good ply. I have it for many years here. And I'm going to cut it. And there will be a little curve here on the end where it's at the back on the bottom. So. I'm going to cut it by eye here. Uh, I'll plane it up then on the. On, I'll cut it a little bit big and I'll put it into the vise then and I'll plane it up.
So that's the way it will look in the bottom. We'll have to cut a little trench out of here because of the angle on, on the back of the boat. So, uh, okay, now we're going to fit the skeg, uh, or it's S-K-E-G, which you never heard of before. You can see here it's rounded off. Uh, I mixed up the epoxy, plenty of it here. I'm going to put a little bit of a taper in it. Uh, I'm going to hold it in place, your line where you have the cut, and the line at the back here on the transom. So I can see the line on the transom, and I can see the line here. I'm trying to get a little bit of a fillet, an even fillet in it. Uh, it'll be easier to put the glass on it tomorrow. Not too big a fillet. A bit more room to do it. That looks good. And remind me to clean my bevel when I'm finished. And that's in position now. That's in the center line there, near enough there. That in position now, we can try and take as much off you can. It's very delicate and uh, it will dry in a few hours time. Make sure it's lined up before you leave it. Make sure you close the door that your dog doesn't come in, like what happened to me before. And we're going to turn off the fan there as well. We've already tidied up some of the fiberglass, especially the hairy stuff. It was easy enough to sand off the bits of hair that came off. I thought it'd be more difficult. Uh, we're taking care not to, sa uh, to sand the corners. Okay, with the skeg is in down there, I won't go down near the other end there for you. Uh, I'm going to start, I think it's what's called fairing now. I'm going to be filling along here. Probably take two coats. And because this is concave here, I will have to do it like this gently and then probably pair off or bend something here. But basically we're filling uh, anything that's left inside in the fiberglass, which is nearly nothing anyway. But we're fairing out from the fiberglass to where there's no fiberglass. So we will make up a little, like what you, when you're plastering a hawk or something like that. This might be a little bit too thin, I will see now in a minute. But we'll put it this way first. You go across it like this first before you come up. Well, that's what I will do anyway. I'm used to filling. And then I will come up like this. go like this this is a concave here it's the shape of the boat and it looks nice actually going in like that and you will you will try and get most of it, the roughest part of it in the first go and then you can give it a, a sanding again the next time. And we'll do the same. We'll do it all the second time. Nail holes and, uh, or sorry, screw holes and uh, we'll just give it a general uh, smoothing off like you would do when you were panel beating. So. Uh, I get on with that and I'll get back to you uh, when it's dry in the morning when we're looking at it. It's afternoon here now. Okay, so we, we filled it all in like I showed you and then we, we sanded it down. Now, when you're sanding this down, because there's hairs of the, you're not meant to sand down your fiberglass, right? Your fiberglass is your strength. But you will, you will sand some of it, especially on the edges where you're fairing it in, especially when you're not using tape like I wasn't using proper tape. So uh, uh, you should wear long sleeves because you will get, uh, if you ever use fiberglass for insulation in an attic, when this is uh, in fine dust, it behaves the very same and makes you very itchy. And so it's kind of an allergic and not really allergic. But So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a second fairing. Uh, we put less uh, sawdust in this because we can get a finer, uh, we can get a finer finish because uh, even though the sawdust is from, uh, a sander. So I'm just going to fair it all again. And this is our last fairing before we prime it. I think we might have to do a little few touch ups, but it's taking less this time. And it's much smoother this time. So it's going to fill, 
it's going to fill all the, the fiberglass, the little ridges in it. They're nearly all filled already now from the first time. And um, we're going to curve this out nicely and make this a nice, like, like art. And uh, I'm going to do that with the whole boat again, all over again. It's not going to take that long. It's going to take, we'll mix small bits at a time. You mix big bits, you'll incline to uh, lose some of it and it's very expensive. So we're going to mix, uh, we're going to do all this, let it dry. I will fiberglass in the skeg. Uh, I didn't do that yet. I have to put a fillet in that, but I didn't get around to doing that yet. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Uh, good morning. Now uh, I'm going to. I'm going to do now. I've already given this all a second coat, uh, bared in, and it was much easier to do the second one, and it took way less stuff. So it's almost there. Probably good enough to prime. Uh, and uh, now I'm going to do the skeg. Uh, the skeg, I want to fiberglass it in. It says fiberglass it in two, in two uh, coats. Uh, when you're fiberglassing around like this and like this and like this, it's better off doing it in uh, one piece from here to here and the same on the other side and then one coming over the top because it's much easier to get around the corners. We will put the tape in and dab it in like we did before. I'll give it all a coat all around here. We're going to give it another little bit in a minute now when we're putting the top piece on. Now, I'll just leave it over here. And have your pieces pre-cut in advance. You'll, if you're using tape, it'll be much easier anyway. So, so I'm going to put it like this so that this is coming down to very little here. Like this. And then the one that goes over the top will cover over there. Uh, so I'm going to go in here because we made the because we made the 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 little fillet in here. Then it's going to leave it a lot easier. And we've done the fillet yesterday after we filled these. So I made a fillet about a normal lollipop stick size, not the big one. Made a small fillet, and this should help us now when we're doing this. Okay. I probably need to go out another bit. So I'll dab it in like I did before. Now we're going to give it across the top now. Again, I'm going to go in here. The piece is going across the top. I have it cut already. Uh, try not to pull the the fiber glass because you may make a uh, may make an air pocket in it. top all first before you bring it down. I'm holding the top and I'm going down, dabbing down this way. Generous with the glue, but not too much. Don't oversaturate it. Pushing it in like this, trying to take the shape. And that's it then, and uh, I will finish this off then, and then I will do it all again this evening. Or no, not this evening, uh, maybe in about two hours, when it's tacky still, a little bit tacky still. 
Okay, so that was our video uh, number nine. Uh, everything went uh, went according to plan for me anyway. And uh, we have the boat is almost finished on the outside. We're going to give it another coat of, uh, uh, of epoxy. And we in the next episode, we are going to put it into the water just to check it. Now we have to cut it. We have a lot more work to do. We have to cut out a hole in the bottom of the boat for the dagger board and all that, of course. But uh, so uh, that's number nine. And thank you very, very much for watching. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, uh, please uh, subscribe to our humble channel here. And once again, thank you again for watching.